Let me guess. You saw the thumbnail and thought, this is one of those videos in which a snake eats another snake, preferably alive. Yeah, you've been played. This isn't what this is about. It's about the main difference between king snake and corn snake. Now, the general consensus, especially on the internet, seems to be that these species of snake are basically interchangeable. And to some extent, it's true. As far as husbandry goes, they kind of come from the same habitat in North America. And they do indeed need the same type of terrarium of about the same size. Because again, they live in the same habitat and they reach the same size. But that's where the similarity ends. And it's a shame that most people believe that it's basically the same snake, only a different color. And today I'm going to show you ma the main differences between a king snake and a corn snake. Let's begin. So the first thing we need to see here is not the snake's color, because both species have a lot of morphs and uh, all types of pattern mutation, but look at the shape. Look at how the corn snake's head is pretty well distinguished from its body. Like you can see it has a head. It's thicker, it's wider than the neck. It's not just a cylinder with scales. Also, if you hear weird noises during this video, it's because my dog is right here and <laughs> He, he's watching me, making sure I don't go off script. But jokes on, jokes on him, I don't have a script. Anyway, so like I was saying, pretty well defined head compared to the body. And if you look at its tail, it's very long. And uh, unlike the king snakes, it's very thin. We need to remember, just because they're in the same family, Colubridae, doesn't mean they are that similar. They are different genera. The corn snakes is of the genera Pantheropis, while the king snakes is of the genera Lampropeltis, which means it's much more closely related to the milk snake and other such snakes rather than the corn snake. Now, the second thing I want to show here is the corn snake feeding response and attack pattern. And for that, we're going to take this unalive mouse, defrost, and let's see how the core snake reacts to it. See, the squeeze only happens in the upper part of the body. It doesn't squeeze with its whole body. It's not constricting my hand. It's, it, this is, I'm going to be honest, no hate. It's the laziest attack I have ever seen in a snake. Actually, no, that would be the ball python. Ball pythons are the laziest snakes when it comes to attacking, but corns are a close second. Now, I'm not going to show the whole feeding. There's plenty of that on my channel, but just look at the attack. Grab and a very, very slight hold. Now let's put her back and see how the king snake is different. Now, here we have a California king snake. First thing we need to notice here is that unlike the corn snake, its head is not actually that defined when compared to the body. See, the neck is very close in size to the head. And if you squint your eyes a little, you actually don't see much of a definition. It's basically a big cylinder. And just like with the corn snake, we're going to take a look at the tail. As you can see, the tail of the king snake is much shorter and much thicker. This and I was getting to that. The feeding response on the king snake it's much is much more aggressive. Now, 
As you can see, it beat me pretty hard, but if you remember, I was holding the mouse for the corn snake with this hand. So it's not the smell of the mouse that triggered this attack, but rather the smell of the corn snake on my hand. Because king snakes, like most uh, snakes in the, in the genera Lampropeltis, are ophiophagus. They eat other snakes. And since I smelled like a corn snake, it attacked me. Now, I might seem like an ultimate badass holding a snake that's biting me and having no problem with that but the truth is they don't bite very hard and their teeth are very very small compared to my cat this is nothing now unlike the corn snake which like we saw before had the laziest attack possible king snakes actually work much harder because they mostly eat other snakes rather than rodents they need to constrict with their full body, like this guy does right now. Like, it's not just the bite, he's fully squeezing my hand. It's not going to, to suffocate it anytime soon, obviously. But we're going to wait for him to let me go, and then we're going to try to feed him and see how he treats the mouse compared to the corn snake. Stay tuned because this is going to take a while. I honestly thought the king snake would let me go after a, a longer time, but the truth is he released me as soon as I stopped the camera and I didn't catch on film how he took the other mouse. But just to show you guys, I did feed him too. He got a mouse for his trouble and for his efforts in helping me film this video. So he's happy, he's eating. Corn snake ate her mouse too. And we've all seen the difference in the attack pattern of these two snakes. The, the corn snake attacked the mouse, the king snake attacked me. But at the end of the day, we've seen what we needed to see and there was no harm done. See you next time. Danger dropped.